I'm sorry, my, my shirt is sticking up, and um, yeah, now I'm all right. I was explaining to the audience why part of my anatomy was showing. Uh, my first guest tonight uh, is, is not indestructible, I suppose, but she was unsinkable once. How's that? As Molly Brown and um, memorable movie. Will you welcome, please, one of the first ladies of Hollywood and one of the most distinguished and sedate ladies of the theater, the uh, unsinkable uh, or unthinkable <laughs> Debbie Reynolds. No, I don't mean that. <laughs> We haven't been formally well, introduced. You started it all off by introducing me that way. I was going to come on and be so quiet tonight. And yeah, and you threw me a crosshatch or something and... right into the chair. No, you look fine, so I... Crosshawk, I mean. I didn't hurt anything. No, you didn't. What was showing? What if I grabbed your hair like that? It'd come <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. I always wear No, wigs. part of my stomach was here. You know how when you tuck your shirt in fast when you're dressing to go on the show? I and haven't sometimes done that the lately. bottom of it comes up and... And leaves part of your um, you really couldn't see it, abdomen. Though. You couldn't see, could you? No, and there were no requests to, to <laughs> see it either. Say, what is the Debbie Reynolds show all about? Is it an evening of uh, readings from? Uh... You mean like when I am touring or when I work vaudeville? Yeah, I see I it around the country vaudeville. the Debbie Reynolds show, and I never know. Well, I just I like to get out of the house. Oh, you do? I just don't have anything to do. That's what it is. Yeah. I love to perform, and I love a live audience, but I don't have time to go to New York to do a play or I haven't had because the children were always small. Mm -hmm. So I really, there is a feeling when you perform for a live audience that's very exciting. And I started out in the business that way. So yeah. the only chance I get is if I work what I call vaudeville, which is theaters, now really Vegas, because Vegas is the last kind of the vaudeville stand. Yeah. And I was just there at the Desert Inn. I'll be going back in March. I work yeah. there all year. I keep going back all the time. And do your own show. What if it's you get sick? Who goes on in the Debbie Reynolds show? You just show? don't get sick in show oh, you business. Just you know stick. that. Yeah, I guess you're right. You just go on. Like, if you get yeah. sick, you ha don't you have to be here every night? No, somebody, somebody takes over for me. No. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were ever off. I've been off a couple times. Mentally, but I mean the show. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It oh, just came out. why would you say a thing I like that? It. it was just a rumor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't read it in a book or a column. You mean I'm... Well, I don't point out how the wig disguises your age. Why I think it you... looks great. <laughs> That's all right. I'm sorry. No, it no, doesn't see, matter. I, friends can do provoked. that. Yes, Enemies friends. can't do that. See, People because who... then I would have whacked you. And if I had, you'd be over on that side. Yeah, you've got a terrific yeah. right punt, right hook. Did you notice that? Yeah, I've seen you... You know, I saw Lay the show the other uh, a, oh, a couple of weeks ago, and you were talking about wigs, like women shouldn't wear wigs or hair pieces and everything. Hmm. But really, uh, I I think that that's the thing today. Everybody wears. Uh, if hair I were a woman, I would I would have nothing but wigs, and it would be such a pleasure not to have to mess with all Go that. Go to the beauty parlor. I can't stand to do that. And not yeah. only that, my own hair is very long, and it's very fine. So to yes, it is. curl it every night. No, not this. <laughs> Before I leave, I'll take it off and you can see. Would you really? I'll I hold you to care. that. I didn't care. I couldn't care less. Me, I yeah. have none of that grand hour. No vanity. But no, I well, like A woman to... who imitates Walter Brennan. <laughs> you can't be too... I think that's hilarious. Jackie you do Walter Tandy. Brennan, you do uh, no. Barry Fitzgerald. Barry Fitzgerald, I do. Well, I like to impersonate a lot of people. Well, only the greats. You only do... You love Fred Allen, don't you? Yeah. Because your voice is just like I like his. Walter Brennan, too. I did a Western with Walter Brennan. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Hey, I'll, oh, I I'll give you a line Walter. from Walter Brennan and you do it. No, I can't do Walter. I just do Barry Fitzgerald. Oh, it's Fitzgerald that I'm thinking of. Oh, I want to hear but me I do Walter, Walter Brennan? Yeah, you do Walter. Doesn't seem, you don't seem to have everyone on your side wanting to hear this. No, I don't, I'm not asking for applause. Once I remember when it was so dry around here, you had to prime a man before he could spit. <laughs> remember that? That isn't bad. That's an actual Walter Brennan line. I from, love that. I mean, from, I, uh, I never thought tonight would have given me that kind of a moment. <laughs> really, when I went out of my house tonight, uh -huh. I just wasn't that kicked up. But after that... <laughs> this has lifted you and given you the lift really, you're looking really for. This has really, really done it. Now, yes. from here on, it can go up. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it'll have to, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's very good. Do you do anybody else? People. Well, you have a, a good people. group tonight. I mean, the audience is really fun tonight. Sometimes I think the audience is watching... Uh, just sit and stare a lot. Oh, they do, they do. I don't mean just usually. <laughs> Not yeah. tonight, look at them. Hey, yeah, Debbie. I think they're great tonight. What is it? Stop playing up to Are these people. 
Do you, you have a thing about clothes. I remember once on Jack Parr, you tore his shirt off. You came on my show and ripped your own clothes off. You oh, went for my You did that. You shirt. did that. No, no, you're very handsy. No, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> handsy? Handsy, that means busy. What a nauseating expression. No, no, you, that was just fun. I don't like yeah. to come on a show and just be really, you know, quiet and... Uh, you like to give a little something boring. of yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Please. <laughs> Anything. I think it's fun if you have a good time in life. I really do enjoy my life. And I, I think you do. I, you, I respect you. Put up you. Good... Otherwise, I wouldn't do a lot of shows. I, I don't go out a lot. I don't do a lot of shows. But I think you're a very fine talent. Uh, who are some of the people you don't respect? Respect? Well, let me see. <laughs> in our business, very, very few. Because I find that show people are wonderful people. You kind of like showbiz. I know you went to yeah. the... Uh, gee, I'd love to have gone to that thing. Um, the MGM auction about well, a year ago when they there. sold all that... Uh, all those old Memorable. props from the movies and stuff. Who got Judy Garland's shoes? Were, were those we have them. Well, he bought another pair. You did? Uh, yes, we really found the real pair. But the gentleman yeah. at the auction bought them for, what was it, $15,000, I think it yeah. was. Yes, well, everybody does for sequin shoes. And uh, <laughs> my husband has them in all of his stores. Uh, Your some, husband has them? Somehow, it seems. Uh, in every picture, it's not unusual. Mm -hmm. If you, you have like three or four dresses for a different kind of a scene, if you're going to have a mud throwing or a pie scene, you have three or four dresses. So yeah. Judy had for that particular scene with the apron and Wizard of Oz with the little blouse and then these ruby slippers, she yeah. had four sets of slippers and she had four sets of dresses. Because I know because I pulled them out myself uh, yeah. before the auction. But uh, the slippers had been stolen through the years and there was only one pair for the auction. Oh. But, it, but, but they the man were, did get an authentic pair. They had been worn by Judy, but uh, yeah. they weren't the, the, the best ones made that she wore throughout the picture. Yeah. So whether they were worth 15000 or not is, uh, you know, to him, if he thought they were, then of course they were. Hmm. Depends mm -hmm. on what you like. I love memorabilia. At least yeah, I do, too. Saved. I do, too. You'll yeah, have to yeah. come over one day because I've, I've, I have so much of it now. I you can't. Know. I'm too busy. Listen. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I've had so many, so many offers out here. I've become crude. We'll, <laughs> listen, <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back after this brief message. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs>